Welcome to Cooking with the Smiths. Tonight, I'm going to do some fresh fish and some fresh vegetables. Pretty simple, pretty simple, very easy. The fish is flounder and the vegetables will be zucchini and squash. And in just a minute, I'll show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it on Cooking with the Smiths. So what I have here is one zucchini, one squash, and then I also have some uh, brown onion that I've chopped up, a little garlic, and a little celery. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that for the vegetable. So this is the zucchini and the squash, the brown onion I've got chopped up, the garlic, and the celery. So the first thing I want you to do is to cut your squash and zucchini in half, just like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to turn these over like so. And you're going to cut these in little nice strips, if you will. They um, really look nice when you prepare them. And uh, adds a little something to just the old vegetable fare, if you will. These are This is fresh, of course, and fresh vegetables will probably always taste the best. So those are just the zucchini and the squash just cut up very nicely and I'll show you the next step. So my fish now is in my cooking pan. I'm going to add some of this Olivio, that's what it looks like, in here. Uh, it's a butter substitute if you will. And that's it really. I'm gonna, I've got a little more olive oil. I'll put a little olive oil in there. Not really on the fish, but toward around the sides of it. And then that's going to go into a 350 degree oven. And when it comes out in about 10-15 minutes, it will be just about perfect. You'll take some olive oil and put it into a pan. And that's about the amount of size that you want there. You're then going to, once that is ready, or a little heated up a little bit, you're going to start your garlic off first and let it cook a little bit before you add the onion and the celery. Okay, I've added my garlic to the pan and we're going to let that um, start to cook just a little bit before we get everything else started. Now why my garlic is cooking a little bit here, I've got uh, two pieces of flounder. This is a uh, frozen but fresh and what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to simply add some garlic powder then some Mrs. Dash salt free table blend we use this a lot at my house and you're going to be liberal with that seasoning and then of course some pepper that's some fresh fat pepper I'll actually do that on both sides. This garlic powder is just really easy to use and works just fine for something like this. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. What I'm going to do with that is pop it in the oven, 350 degree oven, and put it a little Olivio, which is a butter type substitute made out of olive oil that I found at the Publix and I just love it ever since I found it. So that'll get popped in the oven in just a second. I have popped my fish into a 350 degree oven and now I'm going to do my vegetables. Okay, we got the garlic started. I added in the onions and the celery and what I'm going to do is uh, get those going sauteed and season my Hot next I'll show you that okay I'm going to use this Mrs. Dash table blend again to season this I call it seasoning my pot that is and then some pepper it's real simple here and you know I think I might add a little spice to it so why don't we throw in some red pepper. so here's my red pepper flakes not too much but that should add a nice touch to those vegetables. I'm going to let that cook. Now I've got this cooking on low heat. I don't want to burn that garlic. But next what I'll do is add 
my vegetables, get my fish out of the oven and be ready to go there. What I'll do next is uh, create a um, little type of salad dressing of Paul Newman's olive oil and vinegar and his ranch dressing. I'll mix that together and that's what I'll pour over the vegetables. So here you go. It's real easy. Just take a little of the Paul Newman's olive oil and vinegar and just add that in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stir in a little ranch. Sorry about that, guys. And then all you're going to do is just kind of mix that together. You can make it however consistent you want. If you want it to be more ranch than oil and vinegar, you can. Probably for vegetables, maybe a little bit more on the ranch side. And then that can be used for salad dressing of any kind. It's just kind of uh, neat to uh, have that on there. It um, adds a little something to the vegetables. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my vegetables and then just add them right on in like this. And get those going. I'll uh, salt and pepper those and a little of the uh, Mrs. Dash again to flavor them up nicely. So here you go. Uh, it's a Mrs. Dash and some uh, cr fresh cracked back black pepper on those. And inside that, of course, is the celery, the onion, and the garlic, and some olive oil and some Olivio. So that's what's cooking down. Those won't take very long to cook. You're just going to mix those around and get those ready to go. You pop those out, put them on a platter, get your fish out, and you're ready to have a pretty delicious and healthy meal. So these are getting close to being done. It's all a matter of preference of how much you want to cook them. Um, I think that you can overcook them very easily. Uh, so I, I tend to bring them out sooner than later. But um, just move them around and... Um, See what you, whatever your preference is. I don't like mine overdone, per se. I'm probably going to take some tongs and put those on a plate. Okay, I'm going to take my fish that just came out of the oven. And I'm going to put that on a plate. And I'll show you what that looks like. There's the fish. And I'm going to pop the vegetables on a plate and show you that as well. So that's the vegetables that just came out. There's my sauce. There's my fish. And relatively healthy and easy to make. That's fresh, that's fresh flounder, or frozen flounder, but it's fresh. Squash and zucchini. Bon appetit.